my god. <laughs> 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 so Hi. <laughs> you crying? Yeah. No. <laughs> You're gonna ruin my makeup. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I didn't expect to do it like this. Huh? I didn't expect you to look like that. What do you mean? I don't know. You think I was gonna be ugly? No. Today is a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and two people that are in for it forever. Why this moment? Why this day? Because despite of all of our differences, love is what we all share. It is the greatest unifier and the universal truth. No matter who you are, where you come from, or what you believe, love is the only thing that we can really do right. When you marry someone's son or daughter, you're not just marrying that person, you're marrying another family. Sue and I are truly blessed that Lexi found someone who's brought up with family values and goals. These two first started preschool at Happy Days 25 or so years ago. And then they went on to grade school, then they went to uh, middle school then Melville High School, and then Mizzou. So finally, after they finished their education, they bought a home together, purchased their first house, of course, got a new dog named Rosie, and I'm surprised she's not here. So, she goes everywhere with them. We all have loves in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we are reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of humanity. And that brings us here today. Okay. Please place that on the first knuckle of Scott's brain finger and acknowledge after I read. Do you, Alexis, take Scott to be your husband? Do you, Scott, take Alexis to be your wife? To cherish in friendship and in love today, tomorrow, and as long as you both shall live, to learn and grow with him, even as life challenges both of you, to laugh with him, during times of joy and comfort him during si times of sorrow, to love him faithfully for better or for worse until sickness and in health. I do. I do. Good, good job. <laughs> From the moment Alexis and I met, uh, that night we went out, to a Kappasig frat party and she took a million selfies of us on her digital camera. I was like, she's my best friend. Scott had an immediate impact on me, most notably increasing my alcohol tolerance drastically, so thank you again. Scott is one of the most innately good people I know. He's authentic, he's loyal, he's trustworthy. All of these qualities and more that make him such a great best friend will also make him an amazing husband. You're encouraging, you're supportive, you're uplifting, and when I stand here today, I sit here and I think I'm like, okay, I used to get so annoyed at your mere presence, <laughs> when now all I want for you is to be present. Uh, my name is Frankie, I'm the other best man. This speech was tough for me to write because I don't know how to be nice to Scott or say good things about him. The night he asked Alexis out in front of Neil's house, I thought I was going to lose my best friend, but Alexis turned out to be my best friend as well. Thank you for letting me be a part of your special day, and without you two, I would never met the love of my life. 
No, 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 no. Judy Parkinson. <laughs> Scott and Alexis woke up this morning and envisioned their perfect day. This is exactly how they hoped it would go, and I'm so happy for you guys both. Your love for each other is so visible and genuine, and I'm so excited to see where life takes you to as you start this new chapter. The last thing I will say is some things in Better Life are truly together, and that is the same for you and Scott. And the other thing I will say is there is no better friend than a sister, and there is no better sister than you. I love you guys. Congratulations. We're so happy for you.